Hi, this is Bhavan Shankar. Today I am going to discuss about the types of SAP projects in S4 HANA. Types of SAP projects. Greenfield implementation projects. This is nothing but new implementation project. Second one is brownfield implementation project. It means this is a migration project. Third one is support implementation project. This is whatever support we are going to give after go live. Those projects are called support implementation projects. Fourth one is upgrade SAP version. This is just SAP version upgrade only. Fifth one is rollout implementation project. In this case, existing implementation template is to be rolled out to other companies for the same organization. First one is greenfield implementation project. SAP S4 HANA is implemented as a new ERP system for an organization replacing the old one. Here, uh, replacing the old one. Replacing the old one means already they are using Oracle or MS Dynamics or it can be anything or it may be a non-ERP non-ERP also it means the customer may be using any other uh, application also in this case we are going to start this project from zero we are going to discard the old system which is called the legacy system I mean uh, whatever earlier we are using we are using whether MS Dynamics or we are using whether uh, Oracle or any other application those systems are called legacy systems in new implementation whatever customer business they have will come under your S4 implementation and our new solutions will be introduced. So in this case we are going to introduce S4. In S4 whatever earlier we are using uh, the data all will come under your S4 with our new solutions. This is about greenfield implementation project. Next brownfield implementation project. SAP ERP is migrated to SAP S4 HANA without re-implementation and without disruption to existing business process. In the first case, SAP is new to the customer, but here the customer is already using SAP ERP since a couple of years or for a long time. Example, customer is using SAP ECC version, now he is going to implement SAP S4 HANA. In this case, end-to-end -end configuration is not required. Only Delta configuration is required. What is Delta configuration? It means whatever changes are there, only those changes are going to implement. This is about Brownfield implementation project. Next, we have support implementation projects. SAP system is already implemented and now the support is provided in case of any errors or issues or any changes requests are made by the business users. So this is after implementation of SAP projects. Then uh, uh, the users will ask so many uh, uh, questions, so many queries to the support team. Those, uh, those will be resolved here in the support implementation projects. Now upgrade SAP version. An organization wants to upgrade its SAP S4 HANA from 1610 to 2022. 2022. This is just a version upgrade only. Rollout implementation projects. SAP implementation is done for an organization in one country and that the same implementation template is rolled out globally to other companies for the same organization located in different countries. And then country specific changes are made such as local taxation rules, etc. For example, in India, we implemented SAP S4. We have operations in UK. In this case, we need to, we no need entire end-to-end -end configurations. Just we need to copy and need to done the required changes as per the country specific. This is about uh, types of SAP projects. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.